These couples have flown from around the world to Kyiv to meet their babies for the first time. Ukraine has a thriving surrogate industry. It's one of the few countries where it is legal for foreigners to pay a woman to carry their baby. Due to COVID-19 border restrictions, the babies were born and stuck in Ukraine. Almost 119 families have made requests for entry to the Ombudswoman of Ukraine regarding 125 children. 88 families got permission and 31 families have already arrived. Meaning many months later they could finally meet their children. The parents came from a dozen countries, including China, the United States, Mexico and across Europe. Andrea Diaz flew in from Argentina. She had waited three months to see her baby, made longer by a mandated two-week quarantine on arrival in Kiev. We couldn't go even outside, strict rules, and we did everything to accomplish um, anxiety, frustration, happiness, all the feelings were in those 12 days. It's a very good ending, end of the story, unbelievable. This clinic, Biotexcom, is the largest of Ukraine's estimated 50 surrogacy operations. Biotexcom drew attention in May when it published this video in an attempt to reassure foreign parents that their babies were being cared for. Ukrainian officials warn if border closures continue, births may still outpace pickups, predicting the number of stranded babies could hit 1,000. <laughs> Argentinians Jose Perez and Flavia Leverino managed to get into Ukraine 71 days after little Manuel was born. They had tried for a baby for a decade. <laughs> so much emotion. We're talking and we're thrilled. We have a hard time keeping ourselves grounded. Until today, they had only seen cell phone videos of Manuel. What was lost is lost. We are going forward. We've now got a lifetime to spend with him. Now they make the long journey back to Argentina as a family, leaving behind the woman who gave birth to him and his first two months of life. Charlotte Bellis, Al Jazeera.